Um, but System of a Down, they did a thing where they were like, they were like, oh yeah, we're just going to turn up every amp as loud as possible, and we're going to just create as much feedback and scream into our mics at the exact same time. Oh. Like, and it was just fucking 800 kids just holding their ears, and they were just like, this is what we're going to do to our audience right now for the next five minutes. It's just like, literally kids, I guarantee you they busted eardrums out. They were just like, we're going to get fucked. And then I remember one time, another another System of a Down show, because I used to mosh and crowd surf. I used to love crowd surfing. I used to fucking love I it. I loved moshing at System of a Down shows, because it was all like big guys like you that would be in there. And I was like this skinny twerp, but because I used to go to like hardcore shows. He's got extra teeth! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like the piranha plant from Mario. Yeah. <laughs> Launch myself at them. Yeah. Holy shit, what is it? <laughs> dude, they were I remember specifically that Continental Airline show, dude. It felt like an entire football team was in them and all they were doing was just like, I shove you, you shove me, I shove you, you shove me. And then I came in there fucking like eagle kicking and throwing back fists and I I remember the face of this dude who was like Four times the size of me, just going, oh Jesus, and oh, backing up, buddy. and it was it was the the t- the toughest I ever felt. What was metal metal moshing versus hardcore moshing? Yes. Hardcore moshing is fists and kicks and yes. windmill fucking spinning, yeah, and you get punched and you, you like keep going. It looks really. Here's the thing: what's going on when people are doing like hardcore moshing um, is they're trying to not punch each other. They're actually like you're 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 someone. You're not just completely letting go of your arms. You're trying to be considerate of the people around you. Part of the the thing is everyone just sort of punching and fucking getting crazy, but not punching each other in the face. You're right. not being, you're not trying to hit each no. other, but the arms are flailing, legs are flailing. So you're going to. Whereas if you go to like a Slayer show or a heavy metal hey, show, breed. no, hate breeds hardcore. Like that that's like punches. Yeah, but yeah. if you go to a metal show oh, like oh, uh, yeah. System of a Down Slayer, or Slayer, yeah, yeah. like Slayer's like real metal, um, they're just pushing. They're pushing it. They're Bouncing up and down, kind of like it's just you push, push me, I push you. You yeah, push me, I push you. You push me, I push you. It's Rocky Balboa if yeah. he's like trying to mosh. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. You Dude. pushing the slab of meat back and forth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You want me to push the meat? <laughs> 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 yeah, and you know, uh, I think that's sort of a, a big difference between these these shows. But then at certain bands, you sort of got like both, right? So I think System of Down, you sort of get a little bit of the you get those kids that were doing hardcore because they were fucking heavy, dude. A, a, a song like War, yeah, was wild yeah a song like war would come like Dan, 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 Dan. Wait, yeah. do you play war for a second we're gonna lose i don't care about that first dude it's fucking so heavy and you're like what the fuck yeah do play system of a down war we'll fucking lose the give us some volume dude it's so good and then you know the song in the club. You're like, everyone's like, ah! Yeah. You know it's, it's coming. A- everyone's like... <laughs> right? When that hits, dude... Welcome to the Real Ass Podcast. Everyone fucking is... This just, is a pump-up song. Dude, everyone is fucking losing their fucking minds. It's so much fun. This is where they do the thing, too, with the bands I love. When they go, like... When they have very short, choppy verses, but when they go, like... Hey, 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 and then all the house lights come yeah, on yeah. for just... They, like, oh, yeah. Prayers and incantation. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that was crazy. I remember I went to a fucking... We did 9-11. <laughs> yeah. We're was like, wait, job. what was that last time? What was that last time? <laughs> 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 Goodbye <Yeah>. to Pete <laughs> Davidson. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. They just get their false setup. <laughs> Dude, I remember going to a fucking Poison the Well show. It was like Poison the Well and like As I Lay Dying. I think all that remained. It was like a couple like metal bands where it was just. I remember saying goodbye to my friend. Go. I saw the pit and it was just a washing machine of fists yeah, and I yeah. was like. Well, I mean, you look out for me, I'll look out for you in the hospital, and yeah. we'll try and get out of this. And it was... Uh, so much fun. Dude, dude, I went out of there. I would leave there with fucking, like, swollen hands just from, like, the... You know, you're punching people. You're jerking guys off. Like, yeah. <laughs> 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 Don't hurt me! I got teeth! It's razor tooth! Get out of there! <laughs> razor tooth gives crazy hand jobs. Yeah. <laughs> Don't let him blow you. Don't let him blow you. But he'll fucking... <laughs> dude, the craziest mosh pit I've ever seen in my entire life was um, OzFest 97, my first OzFest that I ever went to. This was the OzFest that Marilyn Manson was notorious for 
uh, they weren't going to let Marilyn Manson play Giant Stadium. In fact, see if you could pull up the the news story, like MTV News, Giant Stadium, Marilyn Manson. I bet you that it's still fucking out there. You could find like video of it because this was a big deal. This was my first big concert. This all right. So I had been to a few concerts in my life when I was like nine. Private Poison Pizza Party, Poison Z100 like show like now. It wasn't real metal. There was a lot of kids like smoking pot and shit and like metalhead teenagers, but this is like 1990. Like, it's just not like, it wasn't like metal wasn't scary. It was like just a bunch of kids. It was like pop, you know? Right. And then we went to go see Poison again at these the Orange County Fairgrounds. And then my next concert after that was No Doubt and Unwritten Law at oh. um the at uh, Rockland Community College. That was probably fun. It was it was fun. It was the biggest, you know, the biggest deal in Rockland County. Like no no big concerts ever came to Rockland County. It was at Rockland Community College. Uh, they did th- this big concert with No Doubt and Unwritten Law. And it was fun. It was a really fun show. And then I went to OzFest 97, which was featuring Pantera, uh, Fear Factory, uh, Rob Zombie, fucking Marilyn Manson, The Return of Black Sabbath. Like It was like a big, heavy fucking metal show. And then the second stage, it's just these really heavy bands. Like System... Uh, Osvis 98 is where I discovered System of a Down, Incubus. Second Stage was crazy. Second Stage used to fucking break like these incredible new metal bands. Uh, but it was Incubus, System of a Down. Uh, the Melvins weirdly fucking ruled on the second stage. Snot, that guy who died. Love they, they, Snot. They made Lynn that straight. Fucking, yep. Um, a bunch of fucking bands. Osvis 98 was crazy. But 97 was at Giant Stadium. And this was my first experience with like real moshing. And uh, I remember uh, Burton C. Bell from Fear Factory came out there with the first band on stage. It was like one o'clock in the afternoon. And he's just like, this ain't no fucking Lollapalooza. And then you hear the drummer just like, do, 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 do. And then yeah. fucking everyone just started moshing. <laughs> and it was like, I was like, this is awesome. I, I loved it. It was like crazy. My, my, I was maybe 13. My sister was maybe 15. Um, and it was just fucking wild. But Pantera came on. And when Pantera came on, I mean, it was chaos because giant stadium it was one mosh pit here one mosh pit here one mosh pit here like three big mosh pits would were sort of like happening in different areas of giant mm-hmm. stadium pantera came on and they combined like like yeah. a cell that like became like one yeah, like yeah. they just started like at the entire floor of giant stadium i remember my sister looking at me and she's watching right now she almost started crying she was like it was like like we were we were saying goodbye to each other we're being stampeded yeah. like the lion king yeah <laughs> like, yeah yeah it was like a moment where she like and i got like <laughs> <laughs> dude i got fucking i got fucking um you know like really like scared or nervous and we just sort of like held on to each other and it was just I mean, people were pouring from the rafters because you couldn't be on the people that were up that weren't on the floor. General yeah. admit, yeah, we were down in general admission. People just started jumping the fifteen foot walls, and it looked yeah. like waterfalls of people yeah. that were just <laughs> falling into this. Cr- it was fucking They're wild. falling, punching. <laughs> it, was, yeah. it was. I mean, it was like beautiful fucking violence. It was the craziest thing I'd ever seen, and that's when I think I became. I fell in love with like live heavy metal. And like so good. what that was, and then Marilyn Manson was one of the headliners of that night. Um, do you, Do you have anything with uh, Manson not being on? I I just have a bunch of stuff about um, the state of New Jersey trying to prevent Marilyn Manson from from performing at the venue. Yeah, um, it was the the guy who owned Giant Stadium was like, "You guys can come, but you can't bring Manson." And then fucking, I don't even know if the guy he was really there, like the owner of Giant Stadium, like it was like a big thing. Like Manson came out and it was Antichrist Superstar Manson, so. It's not fucking Manson who has like tits and he's like, oh, I'm yeah. a fat old man. Like this is fucking Manson when he was the devil. Right. Like you figured it was Manson would sit down with fucking Anton LaVey, uh, Satan, and you know, fucking <laughs> Joe. Nicholas Cage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. See, evil fucking people, yeah. dude. Just they're all drinking blood from a skull. Like Manson was so fucking badass. It's like a young metalhead. It was so fucking cool. Okay. And um, he came out, dude. They're doing, you know, he's ripping the pages of the Bible out and he's lighting it on fire. And we're just like, yeah, fuck Jesus. This is great. And then at one point, he like stops the show and is like, you see that right up there? That's the owner of Giant. He was, you know, whatever. He'd said it better. He's like, that's the owner of Giant Stadium. He didn't want me to be here. Everyone salute that motherfucker. Then everyone at Giant Stadium sort of give him middle fingers to the box up there. We're like, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, you scumbag piece of shit. By the way, whoever fuck. was in there was not that person. <laughs> it was yeah. just some <laughs> I paid extra for this. 
I'm such a big fan. I just wanted a great view. Like, just one guy, Springsteen. Yeah. One guy eating shrimp cocktail. Like, oh. The fuck, dude? This is twenty five thousand dollars to get this box. <laughs> There's a Make a Wish kit. Yeah. <laughs> 